It's crazy. Yo, but I just want to know how. How was us learning foreign, foreign train of thought when what we going through right now is immigration corruption of America. And we letting our kids, because we not thinking, we letting our kids indulge in this so-called American lifestyle when it is raising our kids up to be killed, not value anything, be puppets, entertainers, and all of that, that it got to stop because it's leading us nowhere. Money never made things, bro. Just because you come here and when you first open your eyes, you see people doing things for for re, uh, material, for current gain. So that means they, they duping their own people because they think they know some knowledge that's over their people. So they feeling more superior. That's a foreign energy. How in the laws, how in the laws they saying that they strengthening and improving elementary and secondary schools when they not doing that? How is the alphabet boys going to strengthen my kids intuition to knowing who he is and some of us as parents solely depend on us sending our kids to school and our kids better do good and he better go to college and he better be something when in all actuality that's for the parents to make sure what the what the kid becomes to me it just feel like we playing because ain't ain't nothing serious enough until it hit our doorstep it's so many laws that that's been uh not even activated right and a certain color of people are still getting uh, discriminated against using these laws and things like that. So it make you think like, well, damn, it's a lose-lose situation when we just got to stay to ourselves. If more people is teaching their own kids about their own family, and the and and simple math, reading, writing, then where we can't go. People talk about the social life of the kids and all of this. That don't even matter. Living life, you're gonna be social. Life won't let you walk around antisocial. Cause that's not what you came here for. You came here to experience. DNA is a is is intertwining and and the cross is a symbol because that's how everything is intertwining and dissecting and converging and so all of that one angle of thinking that you're trying to use ain't gonna benefit these people teaching you one angle to use and and metaphorically speaking these people are blinded by the light which is the information to the point we they re-engineering the terrain the atmosphere 
our ether. So it's going to affect us. The kids need to know that. The kids need to know about cause and effect, electromagnetism, uh, what fuels the body. Because the body and the mind is what made this shit we looking at. This 20 U.S. Code, Chapter 47. Strengthening and improvement of element. This is not happening. And it's kind of irritating. Nah, it's irritating. Because when our kids grow up to just knowing how to use their body, they exerting energy for these people. For these, uh, these leagues. These barbaric leagues. And the people that's watching these people know that this shit means no good. It's just entertaining. And they treating the, the athletes like they down. Then discover some new uh, ways of li to live or something. And, and nah, man, them, them contracts, they getting them people binded. Why... Why in a different chapter of school they start teaching you about how to read contracts and shit like that. Critical skills improvement. Like what critical skills? To be an asshole? To be so sophisticated that you argue shit that makes sense? When these people going to work these jobs and shit, bank tellers and, and, and lawyers, it's like, them, them people, <clears throat> them two positions right there is law-breaking shit. The lawyer is not supposed to be pretending as you. You are supposed to be the lawyer. The creditor is not supposed to be pretending that you, you supposed to be the creditor. So that's two positions or uh, occupations or whatever that hold so much information about natural persons and they blinded you with the light of that because as an elementary particle, We supposed to know these things. And if they're not being taught to us in the home, then I see the detriment. Then I see the detriment. This is why M uh, uh, foreigners have to educate us. Because we picking up their ways and we acting like we don't know what to do. All we want is feel good. So would it be wrong if we go after these people because they not doing what they said they was going to do? And why are we trusting them in the first place? Look at the history, bro. Look at the past. The type of people that think they got all the answers for you and haven't even been in your shoes. Yeah, them are agents, bro. These are agents. They want to take our kids and put them in a military and, and kill them and say they were sacrifices to God. No, my kid can't be no sacrifice to God. None of my kids. And if y'all say, it's pure Satanism, bro. Nobody should be able to persuade you. That shit is even 
and this. And did you know becoming a part of this, you becoming a part of the church, you're becoming a part of this message that's leading people to hell. And that's something for you to think about. You're trying to become a part of anything that Congress, the Senate, uh, Boule, Prince of Y'all trying to become a part of that shit. That mean you think you superior. You didn't think you gained a notch in your in your belt. That's way more superior. This is a golden hole. And it really ain't. When you meet somebody like me who playing the hole. Yeah, I see what's going on. And how it's supposed to work. But it ain't working. The people ain't genuine enough. We got, we got actors on. We got actors on trial. See this making me think about Alexander Hamilton. The anti-fed. But he's still the fed. He's still a part of. What's trying to persuade you. To get out of your natural self. And exert your energy for their families. You got to exert your energy for your family and your peoples. It don't make no sense to give any amount of time to an enemy. Anybody who's trying to swindle me, not giving me full info on what I'm getting myself into. But that's them. That's the game. That's their game. I just wanted to come and rant on that because it just kind of don't make no sense to me how we waking up every day to go die, to go put ourselves in positions we didn't know was going to happen. Like, why would you do that? Why would I put put my kids in a place where we walking through the school, a bunch of kids are sick, you get to the front desk and then... We like, is everything okay? And she say, Yeah, it's a bunch of stuff going on around here. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of uh sickness going going around here. So if y'all don't know how to tame it, why the fuck would I put my kid in y'all possession? Why would I trust you with my kid if you don't even know what the fuck is going on? And that's what we should be doing to these people. Just because they got the suits and the cars and the hat. That don't mean shit. The dumbest motherfuckers is acquiring that shit. The dumbest motherfuckers got money. <laughs> Hence. Hint, hint. The gun. Hint, hint. Come on now. These people play stupid all day. Look at this shit. Gun free schools. They, they, they staging a conspiracy to conspire about something is to think to make something a conspiracy is to think about it being analytical they don't want us doing that shit and it don't matter what they want cause we can do what we want quit being fucking scary bro That's all I got for now. I'll be back with some more later.